pain treatment shows strong possibility for veterans and civilians who suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence found out how it works and how it has helped people so far. Ed McGonigal knew something was wrong. Wouldn't leave home, just strange, real weird anxiety. The four-year Navy veteran did carrier deployments to the Gulf and off Afghanistan. Amy Little was never in the military, but she knew something was wrong too. I was anxious all the time, I was angry. Two months out of high school in her native Chicago, she was robbed and sexually assaulted at gunpoint. Both of them ended up with PTSD and in the hands of Chicago-based Dr. Eugene Lipoff, who performed a stellate ganglion block, essentially an anesthetic that's injected into the neck. The injection took away anxiety in 30 minutes. The treatment was recently featured in a trade publication written by a researcher for Naval Medical Center San Diego. It's too soon to tell, but, but the early results are promising. Rear Admiral Forrest Faison, who heads up the Naval Medical Center, was the featured speaker at the monthly get-together of the San Diego Military Advisory Council. The average age of a wounded warrior is in his early 20s. Many of the wounded end up at the Comprehensive Complex Casualty Center, or C5, where an assortment of therapies are also being tried for those with PTSD. We're trying a multitude of different different therapies to see w which works or which combination works. And, and what we're finding is it's not one size fits all. Doctor of Public Health Miriam Navaya agrees. It's why more study on ganglion block is needed. Who does it work for? Under what circumstances? How many shots are needed? How long does the effect last? Many unknown. But Amy and Ed are already convinced. Now I can go anywhere. It's really given me my life back. Bob Lawrence, 10 News.